Here's a little tutorial for Microstar Group on how to download and install Shunlock's Grease Monkey script to deactivate files on iStock Photo in an easy way. All right, so the first thing you have to do is install Grease Monkey on your computer, so or on in Firefox. So go into Firefox and then click this little down arrow and click on Add-ons, and then you should be on this Get Add-ons tab. And then you can search all add-ons up top there and type in Grease Monkey. And then you'll see this one here with a little monkey and click on install. And then it'll say it'll be installed once you restart Firefox. So you can restart Firefox. And now when you look at your extensions, you can see that Grease Monkey is there. And now you have to install Sean's script inside Grease Monkey. So uh, you have to find it first. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video, or you can just search uh, Grease Monkey Sean Locke and you'll probably find it. There's a thread on iStock Photo with a bunch of instructions and a link to a bunch of different scripts he's made. Uh, the one for deactivating files is the one called iStock My Uploads Fixes. Da, 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 da. So you find a link to that and just click it, and then it'll say that it's going to install it, and then click on this install. And then it says it's installed. Now, if you go over to iStock Photo and click on My Account, Contributor Tools, and then My Uploads, and when you install the script, you'll it'll look like this. So you'll have a few more columns up here, and most importantly for this tutorial, you will have the deactivation column. And so now to deactivate a file, instead of the old way, where you have to click into a file and then wait for it to reload and then click deactivate, you can just click deactivate on this page, and it'll zip and think for a few seconds and then it'll deactivate that file and you can put in a reason uh, if you want or not and then after a few seconds it'll say executed and that file will be deactivated and so to deactivate a large number of files you just have to go through your files and click the deactivate button on all of them but if you want to speed things up even more you can go to your firefox add-ons again and search for iMacros for firefox it should look like this and then when that is installed, uh, the way that works, I'll just load it up here. I press the F8 key. Uh, you can click this record button and then you record yourself pressing the deactivate button on all of these and then stop and save it. And then now I've loaded up a page of files I can deactivate that are low selling. Uh, so when you play it back, this macro, in two seconds, the macro clicked all these links here and it's working and now you'll see they're all executed so in two seconds I just deactivated 20 images so it works quick quickly and so you can thank Sean Locke for making that nice little script and the iMacros guy for making his add-on